इंग्लिश हिंदी एंड मराठी The science is where it's a very weird distribution. Stu- yeah, where there's lots of building very badly, and it's almost like linear science is being phased. I have told you three categories: physics, chemistry, bio. If a child doesn't like physics, he will not look at the science chapters. Only they will go for bio. So that's three chapters in section one. Only first three chapters. But the teacher, I have seen her. She gives a lot in the class. I see. Is it science? Is it information? No. What is that? That is uh, computer science. Information. Information is. in science and i think it's a combination of conceptual and ma- and in math it's not so much also if science if people have been if the board has been changing their question paper format and they adding more application based so they're not used to it then maybe no one's used to it and maybe yeah. everyone is kind of struggling with it yeah. so if yeah. you put this on a learning curve maybe they are at that initial state of a learning curve probably get better yeah they'll probably get better over time yeah so maybe this trend is something that we need to look at as a school we need to probably keep an eye out for this yeah. over the next couple of things But the thing is, we don't want to. We don't want to be finding things before. We need to have some sort of projections and some sort of interventions. Right. Right? That's the whole idea of a data-driven instruction yeah, model. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so I think, uh, is there anything that you think we should be doing, uh, Krishna, in terms of the science grades when we look at the, when we look at this, or any at least any pertinent questions you think we should be asking? No, I think I, what I would do is sit down with the science teacher and really ask okay. her uh, why she thinks this is happening. Is mm-hmm. it because of the question paper pattern? Is it because This is not excited about mm-hmm. science. I mean, mm-hmm. that's the next step. Really. That's the next step. Yeah, and then start working. On what do you what do you, what do you suggest? Because how do we really benchmark this data? Do you think we should try and see if we can talk to a couple of one or two other schools in the area and see, see is me. this distribution sure. sort of seen everywhere else? Yeah, I think that makes sense. You could talk to other schools. You could also use standardized tests, like Ron was saying, right? So, for example, you could maybe once use the ASSET test mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. because many many schools use the ASSET test, mm-hmm. uh, which EI made, right? Yeah. So that's an option. And do we have to do it across one forty kids, or can we do it with like twenty? Yeah, one then sample. You can definitely just do it on a sample. Just with one forty as a total population. But I pick, I pick one class though because it's better to test students across various levels. You know, just picking the top kids. So mm-hmm. don't just hand pick the top kids, but just pick any grade and or any division mm-hmm. and do the test for all of them. And uh, if what if what if we get similar distribution with the asset test as well? Then what does that show? That would show that there's a problem in in the curriculum or the delivery or mm. I mean I mean I I guess. Both, huh? <laughs> or either, you know, or either, st- stuff yeah. Tell, yeah, yeah. But I think this is at least better than going by pure gut, right? Because of course, yeah, because, of course. because data, is, data doesn't lie. This is the you're saying. This is the only way to really know, correct? Right? And ask the real questions because with gut you don't make yeah. it up mostly. That's true. And you're going anecdotes. So, ek ek bachcha, like you were saying, some students said something in class. It's yeah. mostly anecdotal, right? Unless you look at data, it's very very anecdotal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And also, people who don't have experience, for example, if you're lucky to have twenty years of experience in schooling. as a school administrator then your gut is probably closer then your gut is probably closer but yeah. let's say people like me who are new principals with 5 years or 7 years of experience mm-hmm. who don't have that kind of gut uh, then uh, i think uh, we really have to depend upon some very strong statistical methods to kind of see yes. how we can dramatically improve student instruction so that every school every student in our school kind of wins and every student in our school kind of does really better Thanks, uh, Krishna, for that amazing uh, insight. Especially today, because today is our open day, and I'm so happy that we are looking at 
uh, at our graphs and looking at our data and trying to see what kind of questions we can ask and how we can support the teachers over the next one week. Um, and uh, we really hope to see you next time so that we can look at this data and you know probably kind of look at some kind of upward shift uh, in these graphs. Cool, makes sense.